All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And you talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So in this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the campus. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. Three years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeVay. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting and Limassol Cypress Golden. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Are you ready? Are you ready? Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it's going to be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how it plays out. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick lands by the jump. Throws the right hand there. Nice counter shot there. Look at the whip action that comes from throwing that kick. And he switches his stance yet again.
just unable to quite find that range. Oh, huge leg kick to that lead leg. Straight right. Well placed kick there by Lee. Checks the leg kick. Two minutes have expired here in our opening round. Oh, big elbow. Let's get going now. Let's get him down. Oh, huge head kick. Oh, straight right. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Great job of landing that kick over and over again. Knee to the body. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Under two minutes to go in our first round. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, You've man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check it, check it, check it. Left hand punch with the clinch. Strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Take it to the ground. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Lee gets caught with that punch. Flush with that right hand. We need the take down now. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Twenty seconds to go. Nice punch by Lee. Slips the punch. Yeah, left hook found its target. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Second round underway. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat 
This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. His hands are down. High kick, high kick. Circling towards the left. Ooh, big shot land. Lands with the left. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Out of range with that kick attempt. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Oh, huge block. Nice punch, Lance. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice kick. Head kick lands. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Oh, massive kick! Everything behind it! Came from inches right there, boy. Wow! It was a good night if that landed. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, you got to like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. you got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go. 30 seconds. Let's go. We got it. Missed with that attempt. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Final seconds here. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, so what a round it was for him, particularly when it comes to those body kicks, DC. Landed those body kicks every single time he threw them. Every time he decided body kick is going to be the strike, it landed. His opponent needs to do something different, or this fight is not going to last much longer. 
All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Great punch landing with so much power. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice strike. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. This guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shin into his opponent. Don't wait. You hit him first. Just over three minutes to go now. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. that tie clinch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Switching stances here. Beautiful kick. number of strikes in this round really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out but you gotta like the output on display here big punch land Ooh. loaded up on that right hand too Another knee finds the target, so a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this 
fight is about done. He got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. But you're fine. This round, let's get on your bicycle. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Beautiful strike. Lee's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Look at the force behind that leg kick. That right hand landed. Big head kick lands. Clipped him with the right hand there. Rips the body there. Looking to set up a knee of his own. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. More than one, more than one. Punches and punches. <laughs> Big kick land. Game of inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that nose. Just over two minutes to go. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going. Over the top. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay in the court. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Not there. Big punch lands through the middle. Big leg kick lands. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his point. Don't finish his fight. Right idea, wrong execution. The left punch misses. Lee's shot is blocked. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. 
much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Fifteen seconds. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. 20 minutes down. Potentially five to go. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Big kick land. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Straight punch lands. Such a sneaky head kick. And just like that, the fight is over. Yo, whoa! That was nasty. What a fight. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush. And the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 38 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And it's got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight he did exactly that. Congratulations.